Hello, this is John Canalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. Very interesting to share with you some data on this uh, very, very, very interesting case. This is a young gentleman that we performed uh, Athens Protocol uh, about a year and a half ago, and we'll see the treated eye, uh, which is uh, pre-op and post-op here. So we're seeing his pre-op steepest key at uh, 53.2, and post-op here, uh, he was treated in November of 19, uh, we are in March of uh, 21, so we are um, one year and four months to be exact. And the beauty of uh, the topographic um, identification of the treatment being um, right um, right at par with the preoperative, uh, not just uh, axis of astigmatism, but configuration of astigmatism. And we've discussed this and showed this many, many times in the past. He's now a best corrected, actually uncorrected 20, 30 plus, so somewhere between 2025 and 2030. And he corrects to 2020 with some minor astigmatic correction. We can see here he has some residual astigmatism. Um, if he desires, he can have uh, now a um, PRK to improve his uncorrected visual acuity since it has been a year out. So the interesting thing here though is not the results of the Athens protocol. And we can see also the topometric indices improvement. His IHD went from 117 to 60 and his ISV from 76 to 53, his cone from stage two to one to two, thus the improvement in visual acuity. His prior corrected visual acuity was 2060 and best corrected 2040 minus. So we're done with the left, uh, with the um, uh, treated uh, right eye. But th let's look at the left eye. The left eye has a lot to teach us about keratoconus. Here is the left eye of this uh, young gentleman, uh, 14 months, uh, actually 16 months ago, with steepest K 45.9. And it is the education of eye rubbing. And I guess the fear and the hardship of, of having uh, undergone cross-linking in his right eye with our Athens protocol that he stopped rubbing his eyes. He stopped also sleeping on his left side on his hands. And this is his left cornea today. And I want to add here that there is no treatment that took place between these images. He has flattened one diopter um, uh, at the uh, prior cone peak, but it's not only that, the whole cornea has normalized uh, of one diopter uh, flattening at the peak of the cone, as we can see here, and steepening of about 0.6 diopters at the superior cornea. Evidence that eye rubbing is uh, a very significant part of keratoconus and also um, proof of how in real life, eye rubbing cessation can give some such dramatic improvement uh, in this patient's symptoms. He's born in 95. So the, this young gentleman uh, is currently uh, almost um, 26 years old. So again, before and after stopping eye rubbing in November of uh, 19 and today, March of 2021. Hope you found this interesting. Please let's have all our patients trying to stop eye rubbing. Observe the way they sleep at night as far as the position of their head, their hands, because uh, that may be a major contributing factor for disease progression. Thanks so much.